Halle Berry is an A-list actress with a long resume, winning an Oscar, co-starring in a James Bond movie, playing comic book stars, and more. Recently, she even had her directorial debut, and her first film, Bruise, already got signed to Netflix for a whopping $20 million. Throughout Halle's years in Hollywood, she's also been through her fair share of properties. There's some confusion about which LA home is currently her main residence, but rest assured she's living lavish. In this video, we'll take a look at a few homes Halle has lived at, both past and present. Halle Maria Berry is an actress who began her career as a model, entering several beauty contests, finishing as the first runner up in the Miss USA pageant, and coming in sixth in the Miss World 1986. She broke onto the scene as an actress in the rom com Boomerang back in the early 90s. She started with none other than Eddie Murphy. This led to plenty more film roles for her. Halle won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in the romantic drama film Monsters Ball in 2001, becoming the only woman of color to have won the award. She took on high profile roles for much of the 2000s, like Storm in X Men and its sequels, Bond Girl Jinx in Die Another Day, and much more. Halle was one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood during the 2000s and has been involved in the production of several movies she's acted in, which makes sense it's led to her becoming a director in her own right. In terms of her home life, Hallie has two children, one with actor Olivier Martinez and one with another ex-partner model Gabriel Aubrey. In fact, these are the two lads that infamously got into a brawl at one of Miss Barry's previous residences in Hollywood. Despite her long relationship with Gabriel and three previous marriages, Hallie divorced her last hubby in 2016. With her solid movie work, brand endorsements, a lingerie line and perfumes, Hallie's current estimated net worth is reportedly between 70 and 80 million dollars. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at iconic actress Halle Berry and the property she's called home over the years, such as her Hollywood estate, her vacay spot in Malibu, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Robert De Niro and Samuel L. Jackson, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram for chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First, let's look at a home that might just be my personal favorite, Hallie's former villa in the Hollywood Hills. The last time this house appeared on the market seems to be in 2018, but Hallie had sold the place long before. This home, located in Hollywood Hills West, was according to the listing an A-plus Hollywood location. Not to mention the property was sited above the street, giving excellent space and privacy. Not to mention Hallie's former house is one with history. The Academy Award winning actress once owned a Mediterranean style villa for an upward of a decade purchasing the house back in 1994 for $3.8 million while married to ex David Justice. After their relationship ended a few years later, she continued to hold on to the home before finally selling it in 2006 for $4.15 million. The property spans a third of an acre with views of both the city skyline and the canyon and inside covers 4,300 square feet with generously high ceilings throughout. There are three beds and four baths as well as an open plan design that makes Hallie's previous home ideal ideal for entertaining. Rooms are lined with tasteful art by the looks of it and many offer ocean views. There are floor to ceiling window treatments in the kitchen, living room, and the dining area. The formal dining room actually has a separate side garden surrounded by two story walls of glass for extra privacy. Although some may not like the interior decor, I think it suits the home and has a unique vibe. There's a living room with gas fireplace, white floors, and glass doors leading to a covered terrace. It's half painted red with a patterned red toned carpet and armchairs but I kind of like it. The gourmet kitchen has a separate breakfast room and access to outside as well. A sweeping staircase close to the entryway winds up to the master suite with vaulted ceilings where Hallie would have enjoyed a fireplace and private balcony with views over the Pacific Ocean. There's also a secondary master suite too. On the lower level, the living area opens up to the backyard, which is perfect for relaxing. There's a flagstone patio surrounding a pool and spa, as well as a covered lounge area. Not to mention the space is flowing with palm 
palm trees and lush greenery, making the aesthetic back here even nicer. While Ms. Berry is said to spend most of her time in a main house located in Beverly Hills, when she's looking for a getaway, she also maintains a place in the beautiful Malibu area of LA. Hallie picked up this beachfront Malibu home for $8.5 million in 2004. As you likely already know, this area is super expensive and desirable, not to mention on the water. So it's a hot spot for celebs and the uber rich. At over 5,000 square feet, the contemporary mansion offers between two to three bedrooms and five baths. Honestly, looking at the size of the home, I would have thought there'd be more bedrooms. The iconic actress moved into this home while her Hollywood Hills house was being repaired, and the lavish oceanfront property had recently been remodeled before she purchased. Hallie gets to soak up incredible ocean views from nearly anywhere in this house, and there's plenty of room for her two kids to run around. The mansion features an open floor plan throughout and even an elevator. Hallie's Malibu compound also boasts floor to ceiling windows and a modern white design throughout most of the place. For the decor, the modern look continues as the home is fitted with a glass top bar, sleek furniture, and eye catching artwork. It's truly an environment created for relaxing, like any good beach house. The kitchen is large and spacious with granite top counters and stainless steel appliances, while living areas have white and cream colored furnishings and hardwood floors. The bedrooms have private balconies from the looks of it to really take in the ocean surroundings. Other features in Hallie's Malibu mansion include an outdoor living area fitted with a pool and luxury jacuzzi. There are actually multiple decks throughout the home to lounge, which are all fitted with plenty of patio furniture. Not to mention there's even a rooftop area and private patio at the back of the house. The incredible property sits just yards away from the beach. To get to the water, all you have to do is go down one of the many sets of stairs. Hallie's quite private when it comes to her personal life, so it's not often that fans get to see her side as a mom. However, the Academy Award winner gave rare glimpses inside her life at home when she was in quarantine earlier this year. Aside from sharing an adorable video of her son, Hallie opened up about what it was like homeschooling her kids. Although she noted it was a challenge at times, she felt grateful for having a free schedule. And it's no doubt the fam spent plenty of time at their gorgeous beach house. There's some confusion as to which Hollywood house is Hallie's main residence at the moment because as I mentioned, she does keep a lot of her personal life private, including her home. Reportedly, the actress owns two homes close together and lives in one of them. Back in 2005, Hallie bought this old world Tuscan style abode in the Hollywood Hills for $6 million off of actor Frankie Muniz. It was built in the 1920s but remodeled extensively in 2003. The model which took it down to the studs resulted in high ceilings, archways, columns, and draped stucco walls. The main house is about 5,000 square feet with 4 beds and 3.5 baths. While elsewhere on the property, there's a separate 1,400 square foot guest house with 1 bed and 2 baths. A focal point of Hallie's Hollywood house is the Eden kitchen which features terracotta floor tiles from France. There are 5 fireplaces throughout, some made of stone, others from brick, and other features in the home include surround sound, city views, and a media room. There's a hidden movie screen here to keep the old world vibe intact. Hallie's property also has a huge backyard complete with a spa, a pool with a boulder for diving, and two fire pits made of lava rock. Not to mention, this is all surrounded by beautiful gardens, fountains, and landscaping. Unfortunately, a few years back, Hallie's man at the time, Olivier Martinez, and her other ex, Gabrielle Aubrey, got into an intense fist fight on the doorstep of this house. After this, Hallie had plans to sell the place for $15 million, but it wasn't listed or advertised according to reports. Despite word that Hallie listed this home for sale previously, including that time in 2012 after the altercation, she ultimately never sold it. She also has another home nearby. Details are spotty, but as far as we can tell, Halle Berry has also owned this home since 2001. It's reported that she lives full time at the residence we just looked at, but it's just a couple miles away. This house has around 2,000 square feet with two beds and two baths, and it was last sold for 2.2 million to her. So I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. What did you guys think of Halle Berry's properties? We looked at a few of them, and from what I could see, the woman has good taste. After seeing her former Hollywood house, her Malibu spot, and what we know about her current residences, which was your fave? Be sure to let me know down in that comment section. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my latest vid and subscribe. While it might look like lingerie, I promise this is a dress. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you ever want a bikini like this, and you plan on wearing something this flashy, I got this from AliExpress, it was like 10 bucks, and that's one of my secrets. Something that I would wear to a beach party or beach club. I was actually saving this for Vegas. It's from Fashion Nova, but I didn't get to travel this year, so this would be a blast from the past, but 
I still think they're hot. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.